What up, peeps? This your boy Glass with Get With It Sports, a place where you get your sports with a little swag. Yep, it's back. I got a winner for the Dumbass of the Week Award. I know it's been a while since I had a winner of the DAW. Y'all know who the last one was. <laughs> anyway, nothing much been happening since then. But now, after a couple of days, I found out, did a couple of re- did a little research. Now, it's inevitable. I got to put them out there. This is the. You know what? I'm gonna let y'all figure it out. I'm going to give y'all five seconds to figure out who's, who the winner of this week's Dumbass, well, who's the winner of this Dumbass of the Week award. Yep. Time's up. It's Justin Blackman. This is the wide receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Just coming off his phenomenal rookie season. Let me just put it out there right now. I don't have nothing against Justin Blackman. I think he's a great player. I, wa- I was watching a couple games when he was at Oklahoma State. Phenomenal wide receiver. He got a future in the NFL. But the, the DAW don't discriminate whether I like you, don't like you, color, creed, religion, don't matter. When you stuck on stupid, you stuck on stupid. This bro right here got Jacksonville Jaguars moved up pick him to, to get him with the fifth pick of the 2012 NFL draft. A month and a half later, in June of last year, he get busted with a DUI. And his level, I don't have numbers in front of me right now, but he had some hella five levels when he got busted. Dude, they was they were saying that he they don't even know why how he was walking. Beside the point, how what, what level it was, DUI is a DUI. He got busted. After he got busted, the Jacksonville Jaguar organization called him, <laughs> called him the agent back to the office. Whether you want to say they revised the contract, renegotiated the contract, they made it where they are trying to protect themselves from this fool right here. Lo and behold, they did the right move. Because this knucklehead at the beginning of the week, it was announced that the NFL busted him for violating the substance abuse policy of the league. And they throwing a four game suspension on him at the beginning of the season. Now, Jacksonville Jaguars, other than Maurice Jones Drew, really don't have no other offense but this man right here. And to let you know, with them having a horrible quarterback and Blaine Gabbert, this fool right here either tie or set records with the, with the organization, with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and catches, yards, and touchdowns last season. With that being said, I think they're gonna put a little. They're gonna they're gonna give him a little leash. On the situation, but you just put yourself in a predicament. You just, like I said, did you out last season? You was there when they renegotiated your contract, so you know what you can and what you can do. He had a eighteen point five million dollar contract that lasted. Let me get the right numbers: four year, eighteen point five million dollar contract with a seven million dollar signing bonus. They pay, I think, with the signing bonus when they renegotiated the contract, four million of that was a roster bonus. So whatever you got, that's all they have to pay you. So three million dollars off that three million of that seven million dollars signing bonus you have already, they don't have to pay you another cent. They could cut you right now and you just ass out. Who does that? You stuck on stupid. That's an ignorant move. You mean to tell me you couldn't stop smoking some weed with your boys in order to get your money? Yeah, it's, it's, it boggles my mind. I never smoked weed, never did drugs. So I, 
the ones that's ignorant from the get go. But anyway, you mean to tell me you couldn't stop smoking weed in order to get eighteen point five million dollars? Hell, a million dollars a lot of stuff I I would quit doing. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's get back to the story. He got busted from the drugs. The Jacksonville Jaguars can cut him right now if they wanted to. They would not get penalized for anything. So let's just restructure this real quick. You are playing on the NFL football field like you Darrell Revis. You have no guarantees right now. They can cut you at any time, any place, any situation. You can... Uh, why would you put yourself in that predicament? I, I just don't understand. So, Justin Blackman, I heard your apology. I heard your apology last year. <laughs> Evidently, that didn't work. I heard your apology now. I like you. have nothing against you. But if the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I, like I said before, he's a phenomenal wide receiver. I can't see the Jacksonville Jaguars cutting him. But if they do, I understand. But I tell you one thing, if they let you stay on the team, you can't even jaywalk no more. Or they're gonna cut you. They're gonna say they right now they're at the they at the they at the point where if you lose a step in the next three years, they could cut you. Oh I hate when people get I hate when I hate when players and I and I back the NFL players as much as I can. I'm on the NFL player side more so than I am with the NFL or the, or the teams in the NFL. But when you put yourself in a predicament like that, I, I can't feel sorry for you. So this here, Justin Blackman, is my dumbass of the week award winner. And I just hope he gets his act together and be set straight. So that's what I got for you. This your boy Glass. Get with the sports place where you get your sports with a little swag. And as always, be good, be safe, get with it. Peace.